hi you guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be tackling my refrigerator it has been a month or two and she has definitely been neglected so i'm going to be cleaning it inside and out pulling it away from the wall cleaning behind it getting rid of anything that's expired and just just deep cleaning it honestly she definitely needed it and i am excited to share with you guys the whole cleaning process i will also be sharing a new hack that i found here on youtube i'll tell you guys a little bit about it later and i will also be sharing a crock pot recipe at the end so sit down grab a cup of coffee or grab a cup of tea and enjoy this video i hope that it inspires you and gets you motivated So my first step was to clear the shelves out and pull the shelves off of the door and put them in the sink and get them soaking so I could start washing them. Once the shelves were washed, I started washing down the condiments, making sure that the bottoms weren't sticky and making sure that nothing was expired. So I was able to tackle this to do during my kids nap time slash quiet time. I had an hour to try and accomplish as much as I possibly could in such a limited time. Um, you guys will see later on that they do eventually um, get up and kind of contribute a little bit. But that's usually when I get my major to do's done is during nap time or quiet time. And I am just using hot water and Dawn dish soap to wash the inside of the fridge and the shelves here. I do use an all-purpose um, Great Value brand uh, cleaner on the top and the outside, but everything on the inside is just warm water and Dawn dish soap. I don't know if you noticed, but we had two things of this Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. So I got a fresh rag and wiped down the seals and just combined them. They had, I think, like a week difference in the expiration date. So I just decided to combine them. They don't expire till 2024 and my husband will go through it before then. Um, but yeah, that's just what I'm doing here is just combining these barbecue sauces and happy that these bottles didn't tip.
I don't know if you guys heard me mention, but I could not get the bottom shelf out. So I'm going to have to read over the owner's manual to see if there's a way that I can get it out so I can get under this glass because it is horrible still. I was only able to clean surface level, but um, hopefully the next time I go to clean the fridge, it will be more weekly rather than uh, every six months. And hopefully I will be able to take it apart without breaking anything. She is not broken. We are good. How do I turn the light back on? Correction, I did break it. One of the little legs broke. My husband's gonna kill me. But this is the only way. Or not. Speak of the devil, he's calling me. the way that this thing comes out. Because there's a lot of gunk under that. Ew. That's disgusting. There's gotta be a struggle so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clear everything off of the top and wipe it down I did this like two months ago I think at the beginning of December and kind of like decluttered it but like there's a bag of chips up there that it's basically crumbs I don't know why we kept it but she needs to get cleared like cleaned out and there's some almond milk that's probably gonna stay up there it's just easy access for Tyler but I'm gonna take everything down, wipe it down, put everything back, and then hopefully I'll be able to pull it out and clean behind it. And I have not done this in a while, like oh, almost two years. I did it when I first moved in, 
but I haven't done it since, so she needs to be done. So we're gonna get on to that, okay? Cleaning off the top of our fridge. Would you like to help me? Yeah. Just put everything on this uh, counter. Um, like I said, I did this two months ago, so don't think that like my fridge has always looked like this on the top. Um, she was rough. She was really rough. So, let's clean her off. I am just using this all-purpose lemon scent cleaner, and I do believe it has bleach in it. I'm not going to read it, but I'm just going to use this all-purpose cleaner and spray it down the surface. just mopping down the floors with hot water and Dawn dish soap and then you're gonna see me come in with that lemon all-purpose cleaner and spray the floors down and then Swiffer mop that up. When I was cleaning behind the fridge, there was a lot of stuff behind it that I just swept up and threw away. Um, and now Brinley is watching me like a hawk because she was just like, oh, we can save that, we can clean that. And I'm like, oh, I would rather just throw it away. It's been in there for two years, nobody's missed it. Um, and then you see my little friend here. Uh, he's my little helper. Um, he is going to try and steal the um, little Swiffer mop and I have to take that thing away from him because he will lick the, um, the place that cleans. So I've just decided to put those away for now and I pick up the, well he picks up the cleaner and then I put it up on the counter not realizing that the chair is right there and he is now a climber. Um, he's been climbing for a little while now and he grabs the cleaner again Thank goodness I got there in time, but oh my goodness, this boy keeps me on my toes. So I'm going 
to clean down the front and sides with this all-purpose cleaner and um, if the streaks come back I'm going to try baby oil I bought it a couple weeks ago I know that Carrie Lynn over on Carrie Lynn channel um, said that it works really good on stainless steel I have yet to try it so we're gonna see how it works um, if it doesn't I don't really mind streaks it doesn't really irritate me or bother me I know it's clean so let's get to cleaning Dang, that looks so good. Okay, I guess I am gonna do it all. And I'm just using Dollar Tree baby oil, like it's nothing bougie or expensive. Put a little bit more on this side. And why did you say that's a good? It does, it looks so good. So good on what? snazzy thank you Carrie Lynn so just for comparison this one I haven't done yet and this one I have it's just this like wow I'm gonna do that one now <laughs> that one. it's just it looks so good like that one I do the dishwasher want well, to help yeah okay so what do I do next so you're gonna we're gonna put a little bit of this on okay So this is the crock pot recipe I was telling you guys at the beginning. I'm just doing a simple chicken and gravy recipe. I will have it um, listed down below with all of the ingredients, um, the time that I cooked it, and everything like that. 
but this meal is really super super <laughs> simple um you can throw it in the crock pot and leave it 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 does its own thing and definitely on a day like this where i was cleaning the fridge i needed something simple and easy something that i didn't have to babysit because i was already running around like a crazy person um, and with this, uh, you, it's optional to add, but I add the peas and carrots, their canned peas and carrots, and I add this the last like hour that it needs to cook so they don't get super mushy, but it just helps with my kids. They, they don't pick them out. They eat them all gone. So this is definitely a win, um, and definitely a toddler baby friendly meal. Both of my kids smashed this meal and I was so happy. Um, and we just served this over mashed potatoes and we typically have corn, but on this day I completely forgot I did not have corn in the pantry. But this is a really easy recipe, you guys, and I will have it linked down below. So we're coming to the end of our video and I just wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by and being a part of my channel. I really appreciate it. If you guys do like this video, don't forget to give it a like. If you've not yet subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave. Um, but I hope that I get you guys motivated to clean that fridge out or give you some meal ideas. But either way, I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!